everybody. Welcome to Meddling World today. I'm aboard the beautiful Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas. I'm going to be bringing you on a full ship tour of this Oasis class ship. We're going to start up here and work our way down. So come on in, check it out. So guys, I want to start up here. First thing I want to tell you, it's very windy. So it might be a little wind while I'm doing the outside part, but rest assured, as we travel down, that wind will dissipate as we go. First thing, guys, up here. Got to show you a couple of awesome things here on the sports deck, deck 16. So as you saw where I started the video, this is the flow rider, guys. This is the boogie board side. So there's two flow riders. This one is for the boogie board. As you can see, this guy, actually he's doing pretty well there. He's up kneeling on it oh whoa oh that was nice now for using this equipment here you do have to sign a waiver just to let you know i also have jake and roberta with us today helping with the tour so flow rider on this side let's go over the other side let me show you over there on this side guys this is the stand up this one's for surfing now important to know 58 inches for the surf 52 over there for the boogie board also back here in between both flow riders you'll find the wipeout bar not open quite yet again we're in port here guys just to show you around a little bit this is nassau so nice time in port to do a ship tour and these these ships are so big these oasis class ships it takes me a couple days just to find out all the different things on it and we're going to be probably discovering a little bit as we go over here also guys zip lining zip lining here this is not open yet, but this is a really fun way to learn how to zip line. Here's the zip line requirements. Looks like 52 inches anyway. That's the most important one. And you also need to have that secured foot wear. Now we're down here on deck 15. This is the uh, mini golf they have on Royal Caribbean. Nice to just kind of hang out and play with the family. You can see some people there playing already. It's complimentary. Uh, as well as I would like to mention too, everything I've shown you so far, all complimentary, uh, obviously besides the bar, but if you get your drink package, you can utilize it. So zip lining, uh, wave, uh, flow riders, golf, all complimentary. So I think what we'll do is we'll kind of do a little loop here and I'll bring you around over there by the sports courts and then we'll continue on. And we are in the aft. This is the rear of the ship, the aft of the ship. Did want to point out lots of seating. You're going to see seating all throughout this ship, all on these pool decks as we walk all around. Right here, tons of seating. Right here, tons of seating. And as we walk through this way, off to the left, you can see ping pong. And it's nice because it has all this enclosure here. It keeps out the wind. As we're making our way over to the starboard side, guys, wanted to show you fuel. You'll also find fuel here on the 15th deck. This is the teens club. Teens club here, fuel. They also have this nice little lounge. This is part of fuel too. You can come out here if you're in the club and you can hang out here at night. Looks like they're doing some cleaning, but this is a nice little outdoor area for the teens. Teens club right here, deck 15. Let's continue on. There's some amazing views here off deck 15. You can see down there, that's one of the neighborhood areas. We'll be down there, that's actually deck six. That's the boardwalk area. We'll be down there, I'm gonna show you around there. And then, of course, Roberta and Jake here. Uh, let's continue, we're gonna go straight through this way and then we'll kind of show you the sports court. They're all in this area, but this is uh, a loco fresh. This is the outdoor area to eat. It's a complimentary um, eating venue here on uh, allure of the seas it's Mexican so it's not open right now because let's see we're on oh well I can go in and show you anyway they do have these are complimentary drinks here guys all this included but as you go down the line you're gonna find toppings for all your tacos all in this area they have quesadillas they have all kinds of fillings they have pork they have chicken they have some beef here they have cheese and over here you'll find nachos also if you have the soda package or any of the beverage package come with a freestyle cup you can find one of the coca-cola freestyle machines here and you can fill it up also here guys on deck 15 you're gonna find the sports court so right now they're doing pickleball 
which pickleball I think is taking over the United States of America. I haven't tried it yet. Everybody tells me, Matt, if you try it once, you're gonna wanna play it all the time. So I will try at some point, but you can do basketball in there, pickleball, they had dodgeball, they have soccer, all kinds of fun activities go on there. And then at sometimes they just have free play. And most of that time people are playing basketball. Just making our way down here. We are on the starboard side. Also deck 15. Not a lot here, but this is where you would enter also. You can enter a local fresh air. Actually, this is where the queue goes. It starts over here and goes in. And then as we come down, you're going to see there's seating. Again, lots of seating here on these Oasis class ships, especially Allure. And what I love about Allure is they have all this kind of like little fancier seating. It's not just these loungers. Although I like these. These are I almost like better than the ones that lay flat down. They're very comfortable. Um, but yeah, you'll find this as, as we go through. I'll show you lots of different seating options. So actually, before we go in, I wanted to show you. This is called Breeze. I know there's a really, really bad sun reflection, but it's very limited hours. It's actually, it's not even going to be open again, the whole cruise. It's only open one time, and it was from 10 to 1.30. It's kind of like beach beach things, things you would need for the beach. But now, let's enter in. Uh, I can give you a kind of a little bit better. There's some hats and sunglasses, they got snacks. But you can find this stuff as we go down. I'll show you there's some shops down at that boardwalk area. We're gonna find mostly all of these things. Anyway, this is more of a convenience during a sea day, right? When you're up on the pool deck. This is Challenger's Arcade. We're still on deck 15. Challenges Arcade. One of two arcades. There's another smaller arcade we'll get to down on deck six. So they do have the regular arcade games. And they do have some where you can win the prizes with the tokens. Not very big. Not very big. Uh, other ships definitely have bigger ones. But we're on alert right now. We just wanted to show you. They do have some arcade action here. Deck 15. This is where you can get your cards. I was just at the arcade here, like I said, we're cutting through. So I did want to show you, this is also part of the teens area club. Uh, I was our operation, pay attention, because this is the one that's um, has some limited hours. So during the port days, as you can see, opens later in the afternoon, so 17 and up. And this is back when I was over there by the sports courts and I showed you fuel and all that. This is kind of the other side of it. So just to give you kind of a reference. And as we come out now, we're on the port side. If you walked all the way back down, there's not much here to see, but you would end up back there by the mini golf. They also have paddy here. This is kind of uh, diving. This is for diving, different. Um, it's actually rated as a five-star dive center, and you can get all the things you need there to do those types of activities. And I do believe there is, at some point, I know on other cruises I've been in, they do like some practicing in one of the pools so i just wanted to show you hours of operation there now we're kind of entering into the pool area so i'm going to go around we're going to keep continuing on again i'm on port side but wanted again to show you some of those cool little seating areas here they pop up all over and they're really nice uh again this is port side uh, this is also where you'll find, if you're a smoker, if you continue down, you'll find the smoking side. Um, but yeah, if you notice here, you're going to find a lot of your loungers and everything. We're going to walk up there so you get a better view, but this is where you're going to find a lot of those loungers. And then over here, some of those more different style of seating. So I just popped up one deck up here to deck 16. We were just down there over on the port side, but I, I figure you can see a better view up here. This is the sports pool. If you're interested in the belly flopping, which I did show on yesterday's vlog, this is where you'll find your belly, belly flop competition, and that is a lot of fun. But I wanna cut back across over to the starboard side because I wanna show you the splash and also wind jammer. As we're here on deck 16, this is where you're gonna find wind jammer. This is the buffet on the ship. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Washi washi. Don't forget to do the washi washi before the yummy yummy. Hey guys, friends we met on the cruise. Uh, I'm gonna washi pop it. Washi washi, you gotta have washi washi. They figured during, doing the tour, I would just pop in here quick just to show you there's some more freestyle machines here. 
And it's breakfast right now. Just kind of quickly to go through. I know it's a ship tour. It's more inf inf information, but just to show you some of the different things they have. The way I like it, for the most part, it's all set up in these islands. So you have like your milk and you have some yogurts. And then you come over here. It's prime time breakfast right now. Very busy in here. And there's something we wanted to try. Avocado toast, Roberta, if I remember, is on the side. We'll find it. It's his favorite thing we have, so. We kind of wanted to try it while we do the um, tour. And I can show you some of the food in here. We got waffles. We got pancakes. All the drinks you see here. Well, oh, that's milk, actually, for the cereal. So you have cereal. You've got all kinds of you got beans you got home fries they got rice over there they got eggs hard-boiled eggs you got bacon sausage fries home fries over here they'll make you um, omelets eggs your way all your condiments here they also have some of these cold cuts you can get your cold cuts and then kind of repeats itself some of the same things so that kind of reduces the line but if you see the way that these are this is what i like about royal these islands you can see you can walk right up there's not really a line so you can walk up grab it and go uh we're trying to find some avocado toast but maybe maybe out but what is this oh they're out here roberta will find some also if you don't have a drink package everything you see here included so they have juices in the morning, they have some iced tea, apple juice, they have regular coffee. And if you saw, uh, if you've been watching our vlogs for breakfast, we haven't even eaten here once yet. Well, we could probably only eat here one time for breakfast just because it does get busy. But there's lots of options for breakfast as we go through this tour, you'll see them. But I did want to take a point to come into the Windjammer because it's a popular place, obviously, to have breakfast. So, there you have it. Windjammer? Oh, well, wait a minute. Roberta found avocado toast. Let's try one just to see how good they are. You did grab some of the avocado toast? Mm hmm You'll find them in the Windjammer, as you just saw, and, oh, they're delicious. As, as we uh, finish our avocado toast, I'm back over here on the starboard side. This is called the H2O zone. It's kind of made for kids, smaller kids. I'm not gonna really say what age because it all depends if you like Splash or not. I don't think there's really an age restriction on it at all. They have this cool pool. It's kind of like a little whirlpool that goes around. Pretty neat. Uh, they call it the current pool. Before we do head down back down to deck 15, uh, I wanted to show you there's a couple bars up here. That's the mass bar. And that's the Sky Bar, I think it is. I can't remember the exact names. I'm pretty sure that is accurate. As we're coming out of the H2O splash area here, wanted to show you they do have swim vests. These are complimentary if you need them. And they also have towel check here. So what you want to do is you bring your CPAS card, you check out your towels, and then in, when you return, they check them back in. Now, important to know that you really need to keep track of your towels because you possibly could get charged a fee, so they keep an inventory. So over here you have the sandbar as we're entering in to the other pool areas. And then lifeguard station, say you needed uh, a little bit of first aid treatment, you know, they have all the different things you need here, band-aids, things like that. More of the cool seating here, guys. More of that awesome seating along the side. And this is all protected from the sun and from weather. This is another pool, not technically zero entry, but the water it kind of goes onto a deck there. So you can kind of just like, the, like these guys are doing, just kind of putting your feet in the water if you want. There's some of the loungers close by that are kind of in the water. This one I think is very popular. This is a very popular pool. You also have a hot tub there and you have another hot tub on this side. And what I love about the hot tubs is you have that shaded screen above. This one is the beach. Beach pool is technical. Thank you, Roberta. And then the other one's the main pool. We'll go over there and show you that, but did one again. This is kind of where we like to hang out, honestly. We like to find these under here. Uh, you can hang, these aren't just for eating. You can come here, you can put a towel there. You can utilize this while you're hanging out at the pool. But look at the beautiful views of Nassau while we're doing this awesome cruise tour. Allure to seas, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, guys. So this is kind of the main pool. 
Um, you can see it's a little got that little elevated seating area around it, and there's also two hot tubs right here that you can utilize. And also wanted to point out this stadium seating here with the loungers. That's for anybody. Not you don't need as a suite or anything like that. That is for anybody. They also have the accessibility if you need this to get it in and out of the pool they will be more than glad to help you with that so accessibility which is great on royal there's a lot of ramps as you can see as we do this tour so over here on the port side guys the pool bar and if you turn around this way another towel station and this is a smoking area so if you didn't want to smoke they have a designated smoking area right here deck 15 port side i'm gonna go up a deck because i want to tell you in case you have people are probably wondering there's something missing on this pool deck let's talk about it so before i pop up a deck just to walk across i wanted to show you i'm still on deck 15 as you can see this is where the sports pool was they do have ice cream it's called sprinkles i think it's starting to get ready to open now but this is complimentary ice cream you're gonna find on the port side and you're also gonna find uh, over on the um, starboard side sprinkles and he's getting ready to open now as a matter of fact but we're a little early to the show but here's your ice cream maker and this all complimentary so there is something missing on allure of the seas no water slides you notice you, uh, on several of the other oasis class ships we've been on they have two or a, a couple there's usually two different slides here and then the one slide on that side no water slides on allure we'll have to k k see how that works out because i know this is going into a um upgrade update in about a year from now amplification i think is what royal officially calls it we'll have to wait and see if they add in water slides as we're walking across wanted to show you guys these you kind of like these little day beds these are complimentary it's first come first serve but wait a minute i know we're doing a ship tour but take a look at this let's just for a minute during this ship tour look at the beautiful turquoise waters down there the bahamas wow that's gorgeous and then over there guys of course atlantis very famous resort it's part of the excursions you can do an excursion there from royal but look at the views here oh yes this is part of a ship tour isn't it i think so so i'm currently here on deck 16 i don't have access to go to 17 but that is reserved that's first star sky pinnacle uh this is where you know suites all those extra amenities for your um you know what tier you are sweet guests also on that side too is where you find coastal kitchen sweet lounge all over there on deck 17 i don't have access but did want to include it in the tour so i'm going to enter into the solarium next this is the for guests 18 and over welcome now listen if you're coming through like jake he's 12 you are allowed to walk through if you're you say you wanted to go down to eat this is where uh, i'll show you on the tour but this is where one of the specialty restaurants are that we're actually going to eat at there's also breakfast down here and, and it's technically inside the solarium so if you are under 18 you can enjoy the food that's inside they're in those uh, at those venues or you can walk through to get to a destination just to keep that in mind so up here this is part of the solarium there's two levels so up here you do have the the bar solarium bar over there they have all these nice lounge areas and then you can walk down so back down to deck um 15 and then we'll kind of walk through and i'll show you the solarium a little bit more here is your whirlpool they do have a pool as well i'm going to show you pool's not really anything to go bragging about i don't think more of just an area where you can kind of cool off this is the pool here as you can see so not the biggest of pools but i do like the little water feature that comes down if you look off to my right this is the um the dining area i'll get some more detail as soon as we get around the corner but you'll see also it has the kind of covered open covered open so you get the natural lighting also if it's a little rainy it kind of keep out some of those elements oh i like this this is nice it's just like a little fountain so let's get around the corner because this is one of the restaurants this is one of the specialty restaurants uh for dinner it's samba grill you can see the menu there uh 
barbecue. Basically what is traditional uh, Brazilian barbecue. We're gonna eat at that actually tonight as I'm doing this tour. Tonight we'll be eating at that. We'll include it in our daily vlog from today. Uh, but this is all the different things you get along with the beautiful uh, kind of like a salad bar. But this is where it's gonna be located. This is also called the Solarium Bistro for breakfast. And again, anybody, any age can come in. Let's just take a walk in quick so I can show you. They do have the outdoor area that you can sit and they do have an indoor area. And I just want to stress enough because I know Jake's here with me. For these, just because this is inside the solarium, you can have your child with you. You will see probably tonight as I'm vlogging it, you will see that there'll be kids in here. If we get a chance to come here from breakfast, you'll see it. So rest assured, if you have a family and you have kids under 18 and you want to come and use this for your dinner or for your breakfast, come on in. It's awesome. All right, let's continue on. And for breakfast, actually, it's kind of like a big buffet. It's almost like a little mini wind jammer, and it's le usually less crowded. And we found a duck. We found our first duck. Let's see who it's from. From SS Madison. Very cool. And here we have it, our first duck. It's a Valentine's duck. Today's Valentine's. What an awesome duck to find on our tour. We're coming out of the solarium. Did want to show you one more thing here on a pool deck before we uh, continue on with the tour. Uh, deck 15 has this awesome, awesome hot tub. You'll find them on both sides. This is not part of the solarium. This can be used by anybody because the solarium starts over there. This is before the solarium. Really big, big uh, jacuzzis. They got the TVs up top. Uh, you'll find it both on the starboard side and over there on the port side so they are really really cool especially well today is a port day but there are a lot of people that do not get off the ship in nassau if you cruise a lot you know nassau isn't a huge um popular excursion area for a lot of guests so oh, that's so cute just while well, in roberta here on our tour i know this is kind of a different kind of a <laughs> ship tour than i used to do but that's so cute jake found the duck and roberta's like oh i want one too <laughs> so now what you can see is we are on deck 14. what i like too is where you come off all the elevators this is very convenient because it shows you where you are it shows you the aft <laughs> i should say shows you the forward shows you the aft so you can kind of have an idea where you want to go and how close you are but here on deck 14 you'll see there's a card room which is back on that side it's just a small little room where you can play cards really not much to see there but adventure ocean is the kids club so let's go check those out so this is where you'll come into adventure ocean guys this is the kids club area uh, so let's go ahead and do a little exploring here as much as we can so as you walk in nice theming very cool here and there's jake jake doesn't he's never really enjoyed kids clubs that much he really loves to hang out with us so you'll see kids avenue here um this one is the which one is here welcome this, yeah. to family mind oh this is kind of like an open area yeah this one they usually use for some of the different activities that are going on you can see here actually So that's pretty cool. So in here, they I know they did have an activity earlier today. So if you're looking for some of those activities that they show on the app, this is where you'll find them. And this is kind of just open. You can come in here and if you want some activities to do. You can grab this stuff because believe me, cruising isn't always about action. It's also about relaxing and doing some fun th things together as a family, as you'll see on our regular vlogs, all the different things that we love to do. Again, Valentine's Day, so you can see decorated for Valentine's. But just to show you, so if you go, come down this way, Royal Babies and Tots, Imagination Studio Aquanauts, and this way we have Adventure Ocean Theater, the Science Lab, Voyages and Explorers. I think Roberta went that way, so let's go ahead and go down that way. You can see one of the playrooms there. And here's your Royal Babies and Tots. This is very nice in here on Alert. I will say this is nice. I really like this area for the kids. It's very welcoming. It feels good. These are for your youngest kids. I believe it's six months to three years in this area.
but I do believe they have a extra charge to use this one. All the other ones are free. This one, there may be an extra charge. Working our way around still with that nautical theming. I like the little portholes. Wow. I'm impressed with this. This is really more than I think some of the other ships. Or at least this is very colorful. Let's go ahead over to the left side here. You'll find your adventure science lab right here, guys. All your little fun projects. These, this is the voyages area, so 9 to 11. And the first day is really when you want to kind of come in here and get registered and set up. And that's when they have a lot of open houses where you can kind of come in as a family. But after that, families really can't go in. It's reserved just for the kids. But anyway, here's your Explorer 6 to 8. Working our way around, Imagination Studio here. This is Welcome Family Open Art. Very cool. Oh, of course, Roberta, the artist that she is, is in here playing, having fun. So this, you can just come on in uh, and do some of the art. Very family-friendly ship, Royal is. It's a great ship for everybody, as you can start to see. And here's your Aquanauts, three to five. So as I'm um, kind of, I was curious, because I kept seeing this pop up on my app during the day for different movies so they do have a theater here and it's uh called the adventure ocean theater they have movies in here they're family movies and you can come inside and you can enjoy that also right here in this beautiful uh kids area adventure ocean very impressive i like it oh i just noted this is pretty neat too they have kids dinners so that's some good information to you guys if you're interested in that for your children. I didn't notice this over on the key there where I came off the elevator, but it's saying sun deck 14. Let's go check this out. Definitely can see the sun deck. We're actually on 14 port side. We're actually in the guest room hallway, stateroom hallway, I should say. Uh, yes, again, Valentine's, lots of Valentine's theming going on. Let's go check it out. So we got to the end of the hallway and it's saying sun deck it's got kind of like this thing, but it looks like right now it's not open, but I can at least show you out the window some beautiful views off that sun deck, by the way. So it would wrap around right in front of the kids club. Maybe well, they, they do have some chairs over there. On the yeah. Side. yeah. So when it is open, maybe because there's something going on in a kids club, they have it closed. Not sure, but this is your sun deck 14 forward. As I know, I originally said the card room here. Uh, on deck 14. I figured I would show it to you while we're here. This is in the aft. It's called Seven Hearts. And this is a nice place to come in and hang out. In a nice just, they have some of the, uh, if you have the internet package, you can use the computers there. They have some games. That's Scrabble. All different games and then I like these where you can just kind of sit down at one of these tables and let's see play checkers very cool there you have it seven hearts as we did take a stop here uh, on the 11 uh, 12 just eight rooms nothing to see there so we were on 14 skip 12 11 diamond club in the library uh, and then more state rooms of course let's check out the library so on this side is the crown lounge so that's more of a private area you would need to use your card uh, with your tier uh, and you have access to that and then over on this side we're still only gold we don't have that privilege yet and over here is your library so is somebody having kind of a zoom meeting in there so I don't want to interrupt but here's your library as we worked our way we skipped 10 all state rooms now we're on nine on nine the only real thing that you're gonna really need to utilize or enjoy is dazzles so dazzles is two decks you can enter from nine almost like kind of like a, a mezzanine looking down and then you have eight i can't wait to get down to eight because then i can sh show you uh central park but while we are here on nine let's go ahead uh, I'm not sure if I can even enter into Dazzles right now. Let's see if the door is open. Yes, we can. Oh, uh, no, closed. So, this is where you would access from 9. Right now, closed. Let's head down to 8. Hopefully, we can get inside there. So, here we are. So, now we should be able to get in Dazzles here. Let's see. It is open. We'll walk in. I'll show you Dazzles. Uh, this is where you'll find 
A lot of music, Roberta. Yeah. Uh, if you refer back, actually, we've already gone in here a couple times during our cruise. We did a, uh, a music trivia in here. Uh, but what I really want to say is the, the, the house band here is awesome. And this venue is great for music. It sounds so good in here. And it's just a fancy place. It's just It's gorgeous in here. It is dazzles. And the views are amazing. You can see out through the back. This is where the band would be. Uh, of course, they got a bar there. So this is kind of the middle of the ship here, Central Park. I did want to point this out, what Roberta and Jake are doing. You're going to find this on a lot of the Royal Caribbean cruise ships. It's just these nice little, they're kind of like artist type things. You can look in and see different stuff. Let's see, can I get in there a little yeah. bit? Right yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's cool. And they're fun because we always try to take a look at them as we're going. But this is what it's all about. What I love about Central Park too is they have these complimentary umbrellas that you can use if it's raining. You can just use the umbrella and when you get to the other side you can drop the umbrella off. You'll find a lot of specialty dining. But what makes this very unique neighborhood is everything you see here is real. The plants are real. The, the, the trees are real. Now you may hear some birds. Those are not real. Although it could be a little stowaway, but they, yeah. they pipe in uh, bird noises in the day and at night it's crickets and insects. Yeah, and those were there really too. cool. Well, we found on the last crew, the night Yeah, night. you can kind of come out there and just relax. Yeah. Um, but it's beautiful and I love the signs. I've been to Central Park in New York City. Um, not quite the same, but I love the way that they did this. Very beautiful. I would say, you know, a lot of the kind of the brick and uh, the signs, as you can see, reminiscent. But you'll find a lot of specialty dining here. You have Chops Grill on this side. These are all specialty dining. 150 uh, Central Park over here, specialty dining. Oh, Jake's over there playing chess, so you can come out here and just relax. It's a great area of the cruise ship to just kind of come and relax during the day. It is actually gorgeous out here. I have a lot of energy. I'm feeling happy. Jake. The connection with nature, not just the ocean, but yeah. nature as in, you know, the trees and the breeze and the birds as you're cruising. Very awesome. Oh, this is really cool too. Be able to show you a little bit more of this. This is the uh, high, the rising tide bar. So it goes from eight and it descends down to deck five, the promenade deck, back and forth. So really cool. But you'll see all these nice seating areas out here. And yes, those are guest rooms. So these are the balcony uh, rooms. If you're looking on the app for a um, balcony view, Central Park balcony view, these are the rooms. We've actually stayed in one before and it was awesome. We loved it. It was one of my favorite rooms I ever had just be because of the view. It was great. Just a lot of seating. It's it's really a place to relax at night. It's really cool. The trellis bar not open yet. This is popular at night. And I noticed on this cruise they had some music out here too. So. And you can walk right all along through there. This is the living wall here. Just beautiful. Over here guys. Park Calf. Another uh, eating area. This is open for breakfast and lunch. Um, actually, let's, I'll show you because there's no dinner here, but I do want to show you breakfast and lunch. I think it does have a pause. Restarts again at noon. Restarts again at noon today. But you can see that it's not constantly open and it's only open as late as 5 p.m. But it's really nice. It's, there is grab and grow, go in there, if I remember right. They have like a little salad area. Catch our, our, our vlogs throughout the, the cruise, our regular vlogs. We'll be in there at some point having breakfast or a lunch. But nice seating outside and also indoor seating and complimentary. This is another one of the specialty restaurants here. Giovanni's table. Again, got that nice outdoor seating. Some protection here. So yeah, and then more seating here. Central Park neighborhood, you'll also find, picture this, this is a portrait studio. You can go in and get professionally done pictures here. As we continue on, a couple of uh, retail outlets, you have Prince and Green here, and you also have Coach. 
And you also have some art. I believe that, is that Brito? Yeah. Roberta's saying it's Brito. Uh, yeah. Let's see, here's his signature. Yeah, Roberta, is that him? Yeah. And he's a Brazilian artist. Uh, and he does a lot of stuff on Royal. And he has really nice, actually has beautiful Disney art as well. Yeah. As we make our way through. Hear the birds? Ah, it's gorgeous in here and just so relaxing. Over here you'll find another venue. Remember, if you have your drink package, uh, there's three different tiers. You have your soda package, which is a soda. Then you have the refreshment package, which includes soda and anything non-alcohol, any drink. And then, of course, you have the ultimate package with everything. And you can use it here as vintage. This is a wine bar. Also kind of wanted to show you this beautiful board they have. Um, you'll find these all over the ship. And as far as I know, they are, well, it's showing you happy Valentine's once again. It's 71 degrees today in Nassau in February. Ah, could be warmer, could be colder, but... This is all touchscreen, so you can navigate wherever you want, wayfinder, give you directions to where you want to go. All kinds of fun things to do. So, wanted to show you that. You can utilize this for all kinds of information. Working our way right down, guys. We skipped seven, just stateroom, so we're on deck six. Um, forward of the ship, you're going to find the Vitali at Sea Spawn Fitness Center. And then uh, toward the aft, you're going to find a couple bars. A few things there that we're going to show and then the boardwalk another one of the neighborhoods let's go check it out guys this is where you'll find the vitality at sea it's spawn fitness center but there's one thing in here that i really really love personally for me as we walk in i'm going to show you it's right over to the right and it's the cafe they have smoothies here let me kind of walk over this way actually roberta's going to get us a couple smoothies we do use utilize the refreshment package i was just talking about packages um but this is the Vitality Calf. It's got a nice seating area. And they do protein shakes. All natural stuff. They have banana. They have celery. They have carrots. Uh, strawberry. Uh, fresh squeezed orange juice, as you can see back there. They make them fresh. It's not sitting around. They make them customized the way you want anything you want. And also some of these other beverages you can get. Along with some coffees. And if you continue on this way off to the left, you'll find your salon. So you can go in there and all your salon uh, things that you need done. I know they do the nails. You can get a haircut, all of those kind of things. Over here, you'll find the spa. Now, I'm not going to be able to walk through all of these things, guys. But just want to try to show you as much as I can. We'll show as much as we can over here. And you'll have an idea what they have. As you work your way here, you'll find all the gym equipment. It's a very nice gym on the Oasis class ships. Eh, not too busy in here. It's a good time to come. You have a lot of the, the treadmill. But one thing I wanted to show you is, as these guys are working out, I don't really need to worry about looking at that when I can look out on a treadmill and see that. Just kind of walking through here. All different machines. Got the pulling machines and they do have a lot of staff as you can see which will help you with all kinds of different things foot pain whatever it is tons and tons of exercise equipment and then i'll cross over on the other side more machines and there you have it free weights too really really nice gym one other thing I wanted to show you guys too, if you're up here working out, you can utilize the running track. You walk down one deck, down to deck five, as we walk down together and you can uh, access the running deck. It goes around the entire ship. And this is the way you wanna go. You'll see this side that I'm on is for walking. This side is for running. And it goes around the entire ship. You can also utilize this if you're on the fifth deck and you want to walk out. But it, just to kind of show you, all the way down and it continues around. Before we get over to the boardwalk while we're touring, we like to, you know, on Medley World, we do tours a little different, right? We add in a little bit of personal things while we tour. We also have some banana bread here. 
in the smoothies guys they have protein they put in um so you can just ask it's included again if you have the beverage package uh refreshment package or above we got a banana peanut butter whole milk and protein and this is a strawberry banana whole milk and protein along with some banana bread all right now let's head to the board let's continue on we are here now on deck six aft up here this is where you're gonna find all your photos your photo gallery here they also sell matter of fact gopro i use a gopro a lot and i love my gopro sure excursions you're gonna find usually there's somebody here to help you actually hours of operation are always helpful so there you have it for all your sure um excursions but this is the port side loyalty desk this is where you're going to go for your crown and anchor any kind of issues you have maybe you have nights missing maybe you want to check on some of the benefits you can get this is where you want to go for this and our hours of operation here guys at least for this cruise just to give you an idea definitely open every day over here guys the schooner bar nautically themed and you can see the uh decorations for valentine's day they do a lot of trivia here as well as full service bar looks like they're probably getting ready to play trivia everybody usually relaxes a little bit before trivia they come around with the beverage which on royal caribbean guys service is awesome very consistent across the fleet if you're really looking for a nice cruise where you don't need a suite to get that extra or you don't need certain extra perks here it's for everybody i'm telling you of course the sweet guests get get you know top of the line you know you get benefits for your tears but coming on i'm gold which is entry i have 20 nights um but you're gonna get all that great service in any of these venues uh you sit down in the trivia they come you sit down in the theater they're gonna come around what would you like to drink pool deck non-stop so you never have to go long without having one of your favorite beverages and they're friendly that's the best part about it all right let's continue our tour with jake assisting us over to the boardwalk boardwalk you'll find in the aft of the ship a lot of fun here uh theming after yeah i would say to me kind of like a east coast boardwalk right kind of like jersey to me kind of reminds me of a little bit you have a nice carousel here um boardwalk doghouse all included all the food you find in there included um they have different dogs they usually have little salads on the side and again all included right across from the doghouse you'll find boardwalk donuts this is open in the morning they will have here they'll have coffee they'll have uh complimentary juices and of course they'll have donuts this i believe is open usually till about 9 30 ish let's see yes 6 30 to 9 30 at least for this cruise and they will have a crew member here assisting with all the donuts that you want and again everything you'll see in this area in the morning beverage wise all included working our way right along this is the port side uh cups and scoops this is not complimentary but let's go on inside because you can get a lot of awesome ice cream in here again for our crews these are the hours look pretty consistent let's walk in together guys so you can come in Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome. and of course as i was just saying how awesome this the crew members here are in royal different things you can get your ice cream in a cup they'll make you sundaes and here's some of the flavors you can get as we go down a line and again extra charge not included in your cruise fare but not overly expensive for ice cream a great smile <laughs> and cupcakes. hello good afternoon everybody welcome so, oh thank you there Woo! you have it Woo! party time party time ice cream party time yes i know you must have seen this as i've been zigzagging back and forth 
This is the carousel here on the boardwalk area. Again, complimentary. Jake and I have already ridden it once this cruise. It's a lot of fun. You just come on in, you wait in line, and then you go for a ride. Usually never very busy. As I'm zigzagging along here, carousel there, pinwheels here. This is kind of like uh, more youth size things that are in here, and it's kind of beach stuff. It's, it's stuff you can kind of use in the water. Um, they also sometimes have different things that are on sale. Uh, a little bit of like electronic stuff too, like chargers, things like that. Uh, today we are at Nassau. It doesn't open till 5.30, but anyway, that's what you can find in there. And if you walk across over here, Candy Beach. Now they are connected from the inside. If you look over, you can walk right across. This one has snacks. So right along the side here is Star Pier. And I believe, let's see, we're at Nassau, 3.30 again, uh, 5.30 tonight, but see if you guys can see in there a little bit. If I do that, maybe. They have, like backpacks, they have sunglasses, some clothing there. Another arcade. Now this is a smaller arcade. Yes, very small. A couple of the little bowling games. Win the prize. Got the wheel. So yeah. There you have it in here smaller arcade also wanted to mention here johnny rockets guys johnny rockets is complimentary for breakfast on allure of the sea uh but for lunch and dinner there is you pay one price it's 18 dollars, and you can get anything you want it's it's basically you want it oh yeah i had a double cheeseburger now maybe i want some more french fries or now i would like a chicken sandwich whatever you can just keep eating and eating and eating oh no, now i want some chili you get the idea 18 dollars covers it all right across the way here sabor this is the mexican food with a tequila bar that is an extra charge that is a specialty dining venue and then they have the bar here in the middle the sabor bar not in operation right now we're in port sometimes in port you'll notice a lot of these things don't open till later in the day. Uh, sea day, yesterday actually, this was open all day. Uh, needed to sit down, guys. These uh, ship tours, you get a lot of steps in. I'll tell you right now. So, this is where they do the Yaqua show. It's a really fun show. Lots of diving and swimming and uh, music. So, it's a lot of fun. And this is kind of the seating. It's just kind of like that stadium seating. And I highly recommend getting the reservations because uh, if you don't have a reservation, you have to wait until 10 minutes before. Then they open it up to everybody. But this show, I've noticed in the past, fills up pretty quick. Up on either side here, you're going to find rock climbing wall. Most of the, I think all of the ships I've been on, I've had some sort of a rock climbing wall. So you'll be able to show that here. Uh, wanted to just pass over here on this side they got this like little play area for kids again themed uh mexican themed uh going along with sabor along with the uh bar here so theming is really cool the way that they do their theming here on royal and isn't this typical of a boardwalk you'd find bathing suits you'd find candy you'd find ice cream so very cool and then they have another game you just walk up and play beanbag also wanted to show you they do zip line above this is where the zip line was i showed you earlier so if you're down here and you want to watch zip lining there they go and away she goes right there to the end and i think it i've done it and is it scary sure but but the, by the time you jump off you go oh wait, wait i'm a little bit scared boom it's over so you don't have enough time to get scared we're gonna continue our tour down here on deck five this is the aft this is one of the main dining areas you'll find the main dining on five four and three at the aft of the ship the nice thing is they do show you the menu uh beforehand so you can decide uh do i really want to eat there tonight or should i try something else should i go to the wind jammer should maybe i try to get a specialty dining 
So that's what the menu looks like for a typical day. Uh, this is day three. So, and that varies, it changes every day. Um, for the most part, a lot, they'll have like classic um, uh, appetizers. Some of the appetizers will stay the same and then they'll rotate new ones in. So, there you have it. But we're gonna continue on because, oh, let me backtrack a minute here, guys. The Royal Promenade Deck. This is kind of where a lot of people are gonna hang out once the sun goes down and you're not really up on the pool deck. This becomes very popular at the nighttime. Uh, if you saw on some of our earlier vlogs, the 70s party was here. They have a lot of different shopping, Sorrento's Pizza, Promenade Cafe. And I'm gonna show you these venues as we walk through, but let's start here. So off to the, uh, let me get myself straight starboard side. <laughs> Port and shopping desk. So as you're going into some of the different ports, They'll give you some information, some coupons, uh, which can be convenient. Also wanted to point out, if you're looking for some cash, also have an ATM here in the aft on deck five. The champagne and martini bar here. This is more a kind of a quiet area. Um, you can see it's kind of like, they block it off a little bit so you kind of feel a little bit more secluded when you're hanging out in here. Not a ton of action, more or less, Hey, I'll meet you here before we go to dinner. Uh, even if you have kids, kids can come in here and sit around. So, uh, feel, you know, one thing I do want to point out, just because it's a bar here on a cruise ship, Royal has an understanding that if mom and dad are cruising and they have kids that are not 21, most of these venues are not going to have a problem. There are some that are exclusively 18 plus, but Champagne Bar, um, the, uh, some of the different bars that you'll see as we walk through here, I'll point them out. You can definitely have your kid in there with you. It's right across from where we are now, you'll find Regalia. They have watches, they have jewelry. It's one of the shops here on the promenade deck. Moving along the way here, this water, probably a little bit loud, but right now you can see the fountains. And right up there, the Rising Tide Bar, I showed you that on uh, Deck 8 Central Park. This will uh, descend down here and then it will go back up. Uh, it just does that throughout the night. And across the way, guest service, that's where you can go if you have anything you need with your account. Say there was a discrepancy with your billing. Uh, I had an issue in my room. Um, you know, anything along those lines. Another retail shop, the collection, as you can see. Lots of purses, lots of different purses. Name brand, we got Chanel, we have Louis Vuitton. Lots of different ones, I see Fendi in there. You're gonna find high quality purses here at the collection. This is next cruise, this is where you wanna go in. They do have promotions, and of course they're trying to get you to go in there with their Valentine hearts to book your Valentine cruise, so. You'll find, look, look, she's like, come on in. I got, I got a deal for you. No, they're awesome in here. They really are. They're not pushy. They're respectful and they will help you with lots of extra savings as well as onboard credits. Oh, this is what's neat too here. I actually walked right by this. You can go straight down into the casino from here. It's a little spiral staircase as you can see. And you enter right into this, to the casino. And of course they have a classic car on Royal Caribbean. They usually feature a nice classic car. Here you'll find Cafe a Promenade. We kind of like this spot. Although I'd say on this cruise, we haven't hung out there as much as some other ones, but we do like this. This is a very popular place. And I kind of want to go in because I want to show you around in there because there's some complimentary things as well as being able to utilize your drink package. So all of these snacks here in the Promenade Cafe are all complimentary these are included in your cruise fare you don't need to pay anything extra for them they also have some fruit uh, if you have a drink package or you want to purchase a la carte you can utilize some of the coffees they also have um, bar service here and they do have some of the other drinks you can get Powerade you can get Red Bulls Pellegrino um, so this is where your drink package is very useful right here 
this station over here is really cool because you don't need any kind of a drink package this is all complimentary included with your cruise fare um they usually switch these things out right now that i would think that's iced tea looks like some iced tea and water oh no tropical mango so they do switch this up quite a bit with different juices all the coffees they have teas they have hot chocolate they have all the different kind of sweeteners you need um they have the milk the half and half again all this is included so i mean if you really just want to have all the included drinks you don't need a drink package or maybe you just wanted one or two things a day that were not included then i would not recommend the package but friends from meddling world i would say like i'm drinking another uh you know coke zero for us we really love to take advantage of the drink package uh we go out all out with it so if you really want to splurge and have a good time go for it man it's your cruise this small shop over here is called island market uh when when you're in port a lot of these things close down and then once you get back out into the international waters they open up just so you can see as an example uh today we are at nasa so it doesn't open again till 5 30 we're due out at 4 30 so and then yesterday obviously day at sea it was open all day long from 9 30 all the way to 11 p.m so these are some of the things you can find in there guys a little bit of jewelry some sunglasses sundresses hats different things like that sorrento's pizza another complimentary eating area here on a royal caribbean pizzas the nice thing too is you can go in and get a slice and then right to the right side they have a full bar there so you can get bar service there and they also have the freestyle coke machines over there right across the way the bowen stern kind of a uh european style pub and they do have live uh music here got all the drinks you want if you're interested in the voom this is the internet package they most ships now are uh, equipped with the starlink again hours of operation important now of course depending your itinerary uh four nights three nights seven nights but it gives you an idea that uh these are the times that it's going to be open here is port merchants you're going to find uh some of the alcohol you'll find different vodkas you'll find whiskeys you'll find all kinds of different drinks uh spirits if you will now you're able to buy these while you're on the cruise but they will not be delivered to your room until the last night obviously because they want you to spend money in the bars uh, solera is right here this is going to be kind of uh you can connect over you know a lot of these kind of just keep connecting but this one's almost like a you know it's kind of like beauty stuff you know uh it's have some perfumes and makeups and lotions and all those kind of things right here is regalia jewelry uh you'll find jewelry obviously in there uh oh i forgot to point out you see like these cool little like elevated areas here uh there's one over there there's one right across from sorrento's that's where they do a lot of the party stuff the dj's usually right up over in this area uh the 70s party they had people up there dancing around they put a stage down here in front of the car so at night when they do some of those theming nights uh this place gets hopping in uh loud music all the fun so just uh know that it's not always as quiet it's this is like the middle of the day it's quiet right now this gets quite busy at night they also do promotional items here they'll do apparel they'll do watches they'll do jewelry gold all different things here you'll find it all the time in the evening sea days you'll find it almost all day so and this is the shop this shop is um royal caribbean uh branded merchandise so you'll find everything you need matter of fact i bought a sweatshirt here because it got quite cool one night and no yeah i'm going on a cruise i'll be fine i'll be fine i just i only bought one uh long sleeve shirt with me that i packed and roberta's still over here hammering away on those 
Um, this is how we vlog, guys. All right, well, I'm in the middle of a tour, but this is how we vlog. Roberta already checking into our next cruise, so hey, that's a good reminder. Yeah. If you're enjoying this tour, hey, this is meddling world style, guys. We do things real. We do things like you're on a ship and you're looking around and wondering, this is how it is. That's how I show it to you because that's real, right? That's really how you find out what's going on in a cruise. So uh, take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World. We'll be cruising again. Over here, guys, you're going to find a Boleros. This is a Latin themed club. Lots of hot dance music. This thing gets pumping at night and it's beautiful. But as you can see, a lot of these clubs during the day you can just come in and relax. And again, Jake has been in here. We've danced with Jake on other cruises in these venues here. So it's awesome, man. What's not, what's not to love about cruising? Also going to find Starbucks here. Uh, Allure of the Seas has a Starbucks right here on the promenade deck and all this awesome seating we have on air this is a lot of the uh karaoke a lot of karaoke in here they've done trivia in here this is actually open i want to walk in because it's also a great place if you want to watch like sporting things so far every time i've come in here yeah you can see around the bar they have a lot of sports going on you can see espn is on and it's just themed cool man it's just like a studio and not very busy and you can just walk up and grab a drink also on deck five guys you'll find starbucks full service starbucks i am noticing they're pulling all of this out because they're getting ready for a parade guys yeah they're gonna be a parade here i'm gonna put that on my regular vlog i'm hoping i can get this uh tour done in time because on our day three vlog i want to show this parade because i have never seen a parade uh on the promenade deck i think that's about oh no let's go check out the theater still gotta see the theater before we head to the theater here's another one of the atm machines and as you can see i was just standing here now you know where it is right before you enter in to the theater this is the amber theater uh this is deck five this is where you'll enter in looks like they're getting ready for the parade in there so he did ask me you know to stay out for now but anyway this is one of the areas where you can enter into the theater and i have shown that theater in our vlogs also this week so let's head down to deck four so here you have this is the main dining room on deck four after the ship just to give you an idea of the different seatings guys so they have your early seating you have your second seating um but i'll show you once we get down to deck three that's the my time dining this is izumi this is the hibachi sushi restaurant also specialty dining let's see if they'll let me walk in a little bit as i do the tour so yes this is cool because you can see the hibachi style here so you're going to sit around they're going to cook the food right in front of you and if you turn around that way they have regular seating they have the sushi bar right there this again specialty dining and one other thing look at those views nice moving along uh deck four guys you'll find casino royale we're in port right now so the casino uh is not open as you walk through you'll see you have all your regular slot machines you have all your gaming tables and there is a bar also there in the middle you'll see so we're gonna walk through the casino we'll come on out on the other side and we'll show you what else you can purchase these they also have a auction at times oh roberta loves this as we always try to feature burrito yeah let's look at that lots That's of so burrito pretty. on royal as well as uh other awesome artists so as we exit the art gallery here on deck four as we make our way towards the forward of the ship we're going to find studio b that's the ice skating area we're also going to find blaze which is the nightclub and there's also a non-smoking casino well, let's go check those out and here is studio b the ice skating you can also do a free skate jake and roberta did i'm sure you've seen that on our vlogs this week as we're going through um oh yes they also have the comedy club here how could i have forgotten the comedy live that's in here 
so you'd be able to go in there and find your comedians over here is blaze this is the nightclub adult nightclub usually opens later in the night you'll be able to enjoy blaze and also here on four forward the casino royale a non-smoking casino this one has limited hours again let's have a look There you have it. Also on deck four forward, another area where you can enter into the Amber Theater. This is deck three aft. This is where you're gonna find my time dining. So they do have a first seating here, and then at 6.45 starts the my time dining. This is where you wanna go for all your my time, my time dining uh, for main dining room. Wow, it's a lot of dining in there. So a couple other things that really we don't need to go to because hopefully you will not need medical facility, but if you do, it is on deck two. And if you need the conference center, that's gonna be if you come for a function, uh, anything like that, you'll find that on deck three. Forward. Forward. Guys, thank you so much for watching Meddling World. Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. And last but not least, see ya!